Over the next 20 years, Europe's air traffic is expected to grow by 50%. With increasing demand on the crowded radio frequencies used to control flight paths, saturation point is rapidly approaching. Air traffic control currently relies on terrestrial radar and voice control systems. Aircraft are subject to time and distance restrictions, which can contribute to cancellations and delays. Since 2012, ESA and IMARSAT have been working on a satellite-based solution to increase efficiency in Europe's airspace. The result is IRIS, a text-based system of air-to-ground communication. Six months after the two parties signed a 41.3 million euro contract in January 2018, the system was put to the test on board a Cessna aircraft launched from Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. What we're doing today is a end-to-end uh, -end system level test. So we're bringing together all the components that we have developed under the IRIS precursor program and we are flight testing them in the relevant environment. All of the evidence that we gather in today's flight test will support our system safety assessments, which are the cornerstone of the certification case for IRIS. IRIS supports the Single European Sky Air Traffic Management Research Plan, which looks at achieving high-performance aviation management systems for Europe. The technology will use a safe and secure data link to map what are known as 4D trajectories, which enable aircraft to use the shortest routes, optimum altitudes and continuous climb and descent paths. With aircraft currently averaging 42 kilometers of unnecessary distance over Europe, it will make flights much more cost-effective and reduce fuel emissions. What IRIS really does, it makes modifications to the avionics, makes modifications to the SATCOM systems, and makes modifications to the ground infrastructure to enable these. So ESA's funding the program, we're the prime contractor to build the full end-to-end -end solution with the various consortium members to have a system up and running for uh, operational flights. IMASAT will be leading a consortium of around 50 companies to produce and implement IRIS. While it's a wholly European project, driven by the need to maximize efficiency of the world's densest airspace, it's expected that the technology will be adopted by airlines around the world. Early 2020s is when we expect this uh, to be available and it's a huge benefit to airlines because the airlines that will implement this new system will actually get preferential treatment from air traffic management, uh, meaning that they can fly routes that are more direct um, and quicker and less congested uh, than other airlines. So it will give you, as an airline, a direct USB, a direct benefit uh, from implementing this system and we hope that that will drive adoption. 1.5 billion passengers are expected to pass through Europe's airports in 2035. Thanks to satellite-based technology, they can look forward to a much improved service, with more flights, fewer delays, increased safety and less impact on the environment.